Now let's go ahead and customize our website by clicking on customize right here. And this will take us into the page builder of Shopify. Now, as you can see here, we already have a lot of placeholder content for our Shopify website, and we can customize everything about this page using this page builder. Now here on the left side, you can see an overview of what we currently have on our page. All the way at the top, we have the header, which is this area right here. And then all the way at the bottom, we have the footer area, which is this one right here. And the header and the footer will be visible on every single page on our store. Currently, we are on the home page and we can switch pages by just clicking up here and then go to the product page, collection page, collection list page, or the card page, checkout page, and so on. But for now, we're just gonna stay here on the home page. And to see what our store looks like on different devices, we can just come up here and switch to the mobile view and see what the store looks like on a mobile phone. Or we can also go to the full screen view right here. And then we can go back to the desktop view. Now, all the themes of Shopify are fully responsive. So they're already optimized for all of the different screen sizes. So what we can do is make all of our changes here on the desktop view, and it should automatically look good on all of the other views as well. Now, customizing our website using the Shopify page builder is very easy. Your page is basically made up of multiple sections, and then within those sections, we have different blocks. So here, for example, we have this image banner section, which is this section right here. And then inside of this section, we have a text block, a heading block, and then a button block. The same here, we have a multi-column section, which is this section right here. And then we have multiple columns within this section. Now here we could, for example, just delete one of these columns here, but just hovering over them right here and then clicking on the trash icon, or we can also just click on the column here and then click on the trash icon right here. Or if you wanna delete the entire section, we can just, just delete it here by hovering over it and then clicking on the trash icon, or we can click on it here and that will open up the options for this section and all the way at the bottom, we can see a remove section. We can also move sections around on our page. So for example, if you wanna move this rich text section, we can just click on it here and then we can move it wherever we want on our page. Now, whenever we want to add a new section to our page, we can just go to where we want to add that section, let's say in between those two right here. And then we can see those little plus icons, which when we hover over it, it says add section. So we can just click on it here. And then the menu with the different type of content sections will open up. And for example, we can choose the slideshow section and by clicking on it, it will be added right here to our page. Another way to add a new section is just going back here to the overview and then scroll all the way down. And right here we can see add section. So we can just click here and then choose the section we want to add.